I've, I've had a, quite a bit of experience captaining uh, 2020 before and whether it's been the big bash previously with the strikers and over in England for Gloucestershire. So um, it's a role I'm, I'm comfortable with, but um, yeah, obviously uh, whenever Vosey comes back, he'll, he'll come in and do the job. But yeah, just in a caretaker role, it's uh, exciting and it's a great honour. Do you have a feel for who will replace Sean at the top of the order? Uh, we got a few options. Um, obviously, Marcus Harris did it last year and did a did a really good job. Uh, we got Michael Carberry, who he plays that role in England. David Willey plays that role in England. So um, I'll have a, a good chat with the coach over the next 24 hours, and, and we'll come up with a, a formula and a batting order that we think is going to work for us going forward without Sean Marsh and Adam Voges and those guys in our lineup. Obviously, I want to try and score runs. Um, anyway, whether whether we got the, all the guys in and or not to to help the team win. So. I think what you don't want to do in 2020 cricket is, is put too much of that pressure on yourself because you've got to go out and, and play instinctively and, and play a natural game. You can't be thinking, I want to bat the 20 overs or 18 overs because then you're not going to score at a good enough rate. So it's, for me, it's just about watching the ball hard and, and playing instinctively and, and hoping that the skills that I've worked on over a long period of time in 2020 cricket are, are up to standard to come off and get, get big scores. Ashton Agar was probably a bit unlucky to be squeezed out the other night. What are you expecting from him coming in for this game? I'm pretty confident he'll come into the team. Um, he'll obviously give us another a spinning option, but also he'll most likely bat in that top six. He's been in fantastic form um, in one day in Shield cricket this year, and, and his striking power has impressed everyone as well, as well as just his normal natural batting. So um, he'll definitely. Well, I would assume he'd come into the 11 and give us some really good options with the bat and ball. Uh, losing the first game, but years gone by, that hasn't seemed to trouble the team too much. Gone on to make four finals. Oh, we certainly would have wanted to win it uh, to get ourselves off to a good start, especially having those four international players in our team for that particular game. Um, we came in expecting to win, but as you know, in 2020 cricket, um, it doesn't always work like that. It can be one or two bad overs that can um, work against you or, or vice versa. So. Uh, we're coming up against a strong Brisbane Heat side um, definitely this week. They've lost a couple, so hopefully we can get them while they're down a bit. But we know uh, they're, they're a very strong side on, on paper and, and got some very dangerous players, so we've got to be at the top of our game.